Hello guys, welcome to the seventh part of Excel for Beginners. I know I have skipped the fourth, fifth, and the sixth part in English language, but I will cover them soon. In this video, we will talk about formatting. So first, what is formatting? Formatting, very simply put, means arranging something for easier understanding and a better visual representation. Three most common and probably the oldest formatting includes bold, italics, and underline. Bold and underline existed even in the times of typewriter. I don't know if how many of you would have ever seen a typewriter or if you have had an experience to use a typewriter. But if you have seen one or you have used a typewriter, tell me in the comments below. I still remember using those mechanical typewriters in my childhood that kitch 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 noise whenever you would press a key to type something. I can still hear that in the, at the back of my mind. So from the evolution of typewriter, to the electronic typewriters where you would press the soft keys and everything will be printed. I can, you know, still dream and I can still visualize all those things. I, I really don't know how many of my viewers would actually have had an option to see that. Anyways, coming back to the modern era, the era of MS Word. From the heritage of typewriters, we get many features other than the bold italics and the underline. Features like multiple border options, coloring, fonts, font sizes, highlighting, and so on. So in this part, now I can still uh, hear that kitch kitch of the typewriter at the back of my mind. Anyways, so in this video sub series, we will take a tour of basic formatting followed by use of basic formulas and then the height and the width adjustment of the columns and the rows. In order to keep the video short, I will divide this part into three videos. So keep watching. If you're new to my channel, then bro, you need to first go and hit the subscribe button below. Yes, the red button, whether you are watching this video on your cell phone or your computer or your iPad or anywhere. First, we will be covering the basics of formatting. So on your screen, you can see the options. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, here, this is the small part of the font and the alignment that we'll be covering in this particular video. Let me also show on your screen in a magnified way what it looks like. So guys, if you can see MS Excel provides in Excel 2019, if you are using any other version, it may look a little different, but it will work the same way. So the first palette called the font, it consists of 10 options, font type, font size, increase font size, decrease font size, bold, italics, underline, border, highlight, and last but not the least, font color. Like I always say in all my videos, if you want to be a pro, don't use mouse for Excel. Always use keyboard shortcuts. You can always refer to my other video links. I'll provide it in the description and on the i button. But wait, 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 not right now. The other videos are for your reference after you complete this video. So that is the reason I'll provide it in the description box below. So the first option that we see in the palette is font and Excel 2019 or even the versions prior to that are very good when it comes to giving help. So you can see when you take your mouse on the font part of it, it says pick a new font for your text. So it very clearly shows that you can choose different kind of fonts. I'm first showing, showing all the options with the mouse and then I will show the keyboard shortcut. But if you will watch this video till the end, I will show you some bonus keyboard shortcuts as well, which will really help you show off in front of your friends or your colleagues that you are an Excel pro. In fact, let me type this pro go and subscribe to my channel. By default, if you'll see the font is Calibri. So what I have just written is in Calibri. And if you take your mouse, go here, click on the small arrow, it will show you all the options of fonts available. And the good thing with Excel now is that if you take your mouse on any of the font in the list below, on the screen, it will show you how your sentence or your text is going to look. Say for example, let me come on Algerian. This is how my text is going to be shown in Algerian text. So again, bro, go and subscribe to my channel. 
just kidding anyways coming to other font you can see so whatever font suits you you can simply just go and select the font in the drop down list and you will be able to set that font for that particular cell again the font you are selecting is for that particular cell or the range which you have selected and not for the entire document in case if you want to learn how to change the default font leave a comment below i will make a small video for that and i'll share it with you the keyboard shortcut to change your font is alt h f f now you'll see again i am on the same place i can use my cursor the arrow key up and down to go and select the font and hit enter to when i have finally made the choice now let's see what the second option does the second option in the font palette is font size here if i take my cursor the my mouse it shows font size change the size of your text so as it says if i select this i say i go to font size 24 now initially my font size by default is 11 now it is on font size 24 so you can see that the text is much more bigger than what it was earlier play with it make something extremely big print it on an a3 size paper i remember my niece has a poster on her bedroom door enter at your own risk these teenagers you know anyways play with it one good practice is to keep minimal font sizes if it's a formal letter or a formal excel sheet stick to font size 20 for headings font size 16 for subheadings and 11 for the rest and the keyboard shortcut for this is alt h f s for font size let me make it back to 11 and enter i'm back to where i started now coming to the next two options i honestly don't know why these are even required we can always do it either with the mouse or with the keyboard but since excel has it let me show it to you the first one the a with a small arrow pointing up i had to use a magnifying glass to see this but this is an arrow facing up and as you may have thought it increases the font size so if you want to increase the font size from 11 to 12 you will click this one time it goes 12 14 and so on the next one is to decrease the font size from 14 to 12 to 11 here when it jumps it jumps in the list that is already visible so it goes from 8 to 9 to 10 to 11 to 12 to 14 16 18 because that is the option which is available in the drop down list anyway the keyboard shortcut to go to these commands is alt h f and then as you can see if i click g it will increase the point size if i click k it will decrease the point uh, font size so as of now i'm doing nothing i'll just go quickly and make it back to 11 alt h f s 11 and enter so it is at 11 the next is bold This may sound very unimportant but believe me if you want to be a good presenter you will need to use bold very effectively let me type a couple of things let me maybe just copy this down only and if i want something to stand out i will press control b or i will take my mouse to this bold and do it here click here so now you can see the one i have made bold is very much visible and this is especially visible when you have to take a print out and share with someone so bold you can take your mouse click the b button or you can use control b the next is italics and underline similar to bold italics is very old technique to make something stand out and if you use underline along with bold and italics it generally would mean something very very important i'll just quickly show you control i for italics control u for underline and if what is underlined if i do bold and italics as well so it means it is something very very important by the way the keyboard shortcut for bold again is control b italics is control i and underline is control u the next is an important part especially if you work in the financial field this is borders the border may sound is it actually of any use but believe me if you use it precisely if you use it effectively you can make your presentation stand out 
in the border you'll see a small arrow if i click this small arrow there are 13 options which are by default listed by the excel but they are more if you go down you'll see erase border you can change the line color of the border you can change the line style you want it to be a continuous line you want it to be dashed you want to be dots and so on and last but not the least more borders if you click this you have so many more options to creatively design a border for your matter i will show you a couple of these options rest you can try yourself and say one two three and so on i would simply go and give the border to all and let's say at the bottom if i have the total or the sum so the best representation is i first give border to all i use the keyboard shortcut alt h b a you can always go up here and click on all borders but i as i mentioned to you earlier always 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 try and use the keyboard shortcuts and not the mouse so this is one presentation if i hit control and f2 you can see in printout there is no difference one two three and six everything is quite similar now let me just change the border style here for i'll first show you with the mouse and then i'll tell you the keyboard shortcut for this as well the part where you have done the addition or the total i go i take my cursor on that particular cell go to the borders and here you'll see option of top and double bottom border i click this now what has happened you may not be able to see on the screen but in the print preview you can see there is double border line at the last cell which was showing the total in general whenever we are doing accounting to show that something has concluded we use two lines at the bottom even if you are making a balance sheet or any other financial document hence you should be using this now let me tell you the keyboard shortcut for this let me do control z for undo it is alt h b to come in the borders and as you might be able to see u is the word which we should be pressing to use top and double bottom border so alt h b and now u i've got the same thing here let me zoom i think you might be able to see that there is a two or a double line at the bottom of the six leave a comment below if you already know how to use borders and i will share a link with you for a video where i will show you how you can use keyboard shortcuts the next two are very important and if used correctly it can add stars to your presentation skills or else you know anyways the next two are highlight and font color as i mentioned before if you watch this video till the end i will share with you a bonus trick on formatting your sheet so keep watching the first is highlight i'm sure all of you would have used faber castell or office depot highlighters especially the bright yellow or the fluorescent color to highlight the important matter in the school books or thesis or your office work you can do the similar thing by highlighting here in excel to fill the cells or the range you have selected the keyboard shortcut for this is alt h h now you can use your arrows and do it let me show you alt h h and let me go down and fill the fluorescent yellow so this is now my text being highlighted if i would have selected a range and done the same thing alt h h let me change the color the same to gray and enter the entire range would have been filled with this color so play with this see the options what you can work out how you can make your presentation or your data stand out and more easy to understand the last part in the palette is font color this will help you change your font color from default black color to any color of your choice let me show you using the mouse first here if i go and click the small arrow you have all the options of choosing the colors and you also have an option of choosing more colors so in more colors you can choose any colors from this palette or you can go and custom define your font color if you require so as of now i don't want to go in that depth i'll just maybe to highlight this choose red because this is the sum you can do whatever you can make different colors the shortcut to change the font color is alt h f c now i have the same palette i can use my arrow keys and change the color as you can see below the last two options are really helpful if you are giving a presentation on your computer screen or a projector or distributing color printout 
But what will you do if you have to submit a printout from black and white printer? This is the formatting technique that I learned when I used to make financial models. So let's try this out. If you know more tricks like this one, share in the comment below and I will include it in my next video and also include your name along with it. Well, the solution is very, very easy. Not many people use it. Since you will be using a black and white printer, if you highlight with any other color, when you print it out, it will come in shades of gray and it will look very, very odd. So what should you do? What you should do is you should fill the cell color with black and make the font color white. Let me show you. Let me say these were my sales figures and just to make it look good or let me change it subscribers. And this is the date, let's say 1st September. And uh, I'm using a couple of keyboard shortcuts. I'll show you later. So four days first. On 1st of September, I gained 100 subscribers. On 2nd of September, let's say I gained 200 subscribers. On 3rd of September, I gained, let's say 350 subscribers. And this is the total, the 650 subscribers I have gained in last three days. So again, let me add one more to that because I know you will go and hit subscribe if you have not yet hit subscribe. So it will be 651. Let me say today, and add one here. So this is your one. You have to hit the subscribe button. Let me select all these, go to the color and fill it black. I'm showing you with the mouse, but so that it's more visual, but you can always use keyboard shortcuts and I'll tell you the keyboard shortcuts for it as well. Now, what happened? It's all black. Where did your data go? So to make your data visible, we will change the font color to white. Alt H F C. I want it to be white, enter. Similarly, I want to do the same thing. One is I can go and do the same thing for subscribers using my keyboard and my mouse. The other is a shortcut, which I was telling you earlier. I will tell you with the mouse, go on the format painter in the first tab, click that once and come to the cell where I want to do it and click. So now when I print it out, control P, you can see it is standing out. It is very easy to highlight the same. I'm able to emphasize where I want to and just using the black and white printer. So guys, I hope that this video helped you and that you have already subscribed to my channel. If not yet done, then hit the red subscribe button now and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for my latest videos. With this, I will move on to the next section. Till then, you can learn and enjoy more videos on Excel for basics, medium and advanced level. Links are in the description box and on the i button above. Thank you once again for watching this. Feel free to email me if you have any questions that you cannot disclose in the comments. Cheers and have fun.